Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Myself, Atul Salukhe, Assistant Professor at AISSMS, College of Hotel Management and Catering Technology. Today we are going to see about the cleaning routine of public area. In this, we are going to cover few learning objects as follows. We are going to understand what is a public area, the areas to be maintained, daily, weekly and spring cleaning procedure for public area. Let's see public area cleaning. The public areas in the hotel comprise the front of the house areas such as entrance, lobbies, lounges, the front desk and guest rooms. Second one is your functional area such as restaurant, banquet hall, bar and waiting rooms. Third is your leisure area such as swimming pool, the spa and the health club. In other words, the areas of the hotel that are in the constant view and frequented by the guests are referred as a public area. Neat and clean public areas is reflective of the clean and standard throughout the hotel property. Because the guests see these areas first and form overall impression of the hotel based upon this. Housekeeping is responsible for the cleanliness and the maintenance of these public areas in the hotel. Many hotels get their public area clean by contractor. Like cleaning in other areas of the hotel, the cleaning routine areas can be divided. In this video, we're gonna see there are three parts. The first will be the front of the house, second part will be the function area, and the third will be the leisure areas. So let's begin with the front of the house. Now we'll see the frequency of a cleaning. Frequency of a cleaning may be divided according to the frequency of scheduling, which depend on the level of soiling. The level of soiling means the amount of dust and dirt which is coming into your public area. Next is the type of surfaces. For example, in this picture, you can see a marble flooring, wooden panel, hanging bulbs, acrylic sheets, glass windows. So each and every surface need a different technique for the cleaning. Next is the amount of traffic. Amount of traffic is eight is get calculated by the amount of footfall. The number of guests entering your lobby, using your lobby or across your lobby or the public area. On this, the amount of traffic is dependent. For example, in the business class properties, the amount of traffic in the lobby or in the public area will be higher as compared to resort property. The next is the type of hotel. For example, resort property will have a different cleaning frequencies as compared to your business class properties. The next is the cleaning standard. It is the most important criteria to judge a hotel standard because whenever the guest enters the lobby or in the hotel premises, he will judge the cleaning standard. If the public area is maintained and clean and tidy, automatically guests will make a imagination for the hotel standard and decide it. So, the public area is important. Now we'll see uh, next slide. What are the areas we need to clean in a public areas? Now we'll see the cleaning procedure of various public areas in which the first is your entrance area. The guests get their first impression of the hotel from the entrance and the lobby. Due to this reason, some hotels may have an elaborate and dramatic design feature at the entrance cleaning which may be a difficult task for the housekeeping department. Entrance, if not clean and maintained daily, can be easily acquired or negligent look due to the heavy traffic and exposure, which can be a very unappealing for the arriving guest. Now we'll see what exactly a housekeep housekeeping work gets done in the lobby or we have to take care. The first is your flooring and the mats. Key features here are the doormats and the runner that act as a reservoir for the dust and dirt dropped away from the shoes. One door mat or a runner should be a place just outside the entrance to prevent a most of dirt and a soil. Being brought in the guest shoes, another door mat or a runner must be placed just inside the entrance to remove any remnant or the dust from the shoes so that they have not leave any footprint on the floor. Now, in some hotel nowadays, there is a new process started. There we, we are using a 3 mm mats, which are made of your recyclable plastic. 
those are hard in nature. When you walk, when a guest walk on it, automatically the dirt and dust get deposited into those mat. So it prevent a dirt and dust which is coming, which comes in the hotel by the guest shoes get avoided. Okay. Another, the cleaning and maintenance tasks for the area are listed below. The doormats and runner must be vacuum clean daily to remove the dust and dirt in the rainy season and the during the times of heavy traffic. Cleaning the mat twice a day, even more often, may be called for. The floor at the entrance has to be more frequently throughout the day. Plants at the entrance should be water whenever it's required. Now we'll see how to clean the doors. Glass doors should be clean twice a day and where the public traffic is high, the frequency of cleaning may have to be even three or four times a day. A proprietary glass cleaner may be used for the cleaning or a vinegar and the water solution may be used for the glass that is not too soiled. Dirt, grease and the scarf mark on the door frame should be damp dusted with an alkaline detergent and water and re-wiping with the clean water to remove all traces of the detergent. Wooden doors should be damp dusted once a day. A neutral detergent should be used with the water for a damp dusting once a week to avoid the building up a layer of dust. Brass knobs and the handle should be polished weekly and in case of liquid brass, only damp dusting is sufficient. Liquid brass means is a treated chemical which form a layer on the doorknob and handles. If we clean it daily, there will be a chances of getting the layer ripped off. Next is lobbies. These are the area provided as a common meeting point for the guests near the reception. Many lobbies are carpeted while others have a hard flooring. Cleaning process for those two kinds of flooring will be a different. Floors in the lobbies need to be cleaned frequently since there are spaces where the guests interact, relax and check in, like entrance. These are the heavy traffic areas, hence cleaning should be a schedule for the night or early morning when there are few people around. Now in this lobby you can see there is a reception and there are carpeted area and hard flooring also there. In this case, usually the cleaning of the lobby happens early morning or in the night shift when there are less number of guests around in the lobby. Now I'll see the daily cleaning of lobbies. Daily tasks should be scheduled so that the lobby may be cleaned with the least inconvenience to a guest, which consists of ashtray, ash urns, your sand urns, West paper bags need to be emptied and damp dusted if required twice or thrice a day. Flower arrangement should be attended daily by a florist. Indoor plant watered as required by a horticulturist. Glass surface window should be cleaned with a priority glass cleaner on a daily basis. Door, door handles, door knobs to be damp dusted on a daily basis. If they are polished, liquor needs to be polished once a week. Carpet area should be suction clean daily to remove dust and dirt. Any stains on a carpet upholstery should be removed immediately. Hard floor must be mopped vacuum on a daily basis. Light light fixtures should be checked daily and clean weekly. Furniture should be damp dusted on a daily basis. Occasionally table should be cleared and clean frequently during the day. Telephone must be damp dust with disinfectant solution and wipe dry with a dry. Now I'll see the periodic cleaning of lobbies. For example, in this picture, if you see, this lobby is consist of high ceiling, chandelier, heavy curtains, heavy furniture, carpeted area, and the pillars. Some cleaning tasks need to be carried out on a daily basis, but these should be scheduled on a periodic basis for once a week, once in six months, or once a year. High level dusting to be clean, ceiling, and other hard to reach areas such as tops or fans, conical, should be done once in a week. Very high ceiling may be dusted once a month. 
elaborate chandelier may be brought down and cleaned once in a six month by a contract. Thus, upholstery furniture should be suctioned, cleaned with a upholstery attachment once a week. Wooden furniture should be polished once a week. Blinds and curtains should be cleaned once a weekly. Carpet should be shampooed once a month. But in case of heavy traffic or a heavy soiling, the cleaning frequency can be once a week. Now we'll see the cleaning at front desk. The front desk is the hub of activities in the front desk part of priority. Since all the arriving guests are registered to their rooms here and the queries are made here. Hence, the cleaning should be done at no peak hour, so as no interrupt to the flow of the business. When guests approach to the front desk during the cleaning process, cleaning should be stopped immediately. Employee doing work at tasks should be step aside. Cleaning tasks should be no way hamper the flow of the work of front desk. In specific cleaning tasks, the front desk call for the exclusive cleaning tasks as well. Now we'll see the procedure for cleaning the front desk. Empty waste paper basket as and when required in the day. Time does desk taking care to wipe under the telephone wires and computer cables. The front desk panel should be clean and damp dusted with neutral detergent should be used to remove the scuff marks from the guest shoes. Any railing, any fixtures should be there need to be clean and with the damp dusting. If made of brass, they should be polished according to the schedule. Damp dust all telephone disinfectant solution and wipe with the dry duster twice a daily. Damp dust the computer component, fax machine, wipe with the dry duster twice a day. Any simmers on the computer screen may be wiped with priority glass cleaner. It should be ensured while cleaning the computer that the machine are switched off. Suction clean the carpet under the desk. If the floor is uncarpeted, mop the floor. Damp wipe the furniture. Upholstery furniture should be suction clean with the upholstery attachment. In today's video, we saw the cleaning routine of public areas, in which the public area get divided into three parts: from front of the house, functional areas, and the leisure areas. So, in part one, we saw the front of the areas cleaning. I'd like to thank you for watching the video.